When we're studying reflection, it's often helpful to consider a single ray of light coming in and striking a surface. And we can represent that ray with a straight line. It comes in and strikes the surface at a certain angle. And the angle that it strikes at is called the angle of incidence. Now it's important to remember that we always measure these angles relative to the normal. So take the point at which the light ray strikes and draw a line perpendicular to the surface at that point. And remember the word normal simply means perpendicular. So that's the surface normal at that point. The angle here that the ray of light makes with the normal, that is what we call the angle of incidence. So the incoming ray is the incident ray, and the angle that it makes with the surface normal is called the incident angle, or the angle of incidence. And then the ray hits the surface and it bounce off, bounces off. And this angle here is called the angle of reflection. The angle of reflection. And this ray bouncing off is, of course, called the reflected ray. Now the law, of the law of reflection is very, very simple and intuitive. It simply says that the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. So this angle, the incoming angle measured relative to the normal, equals the reflected angle measured relative to the normal. And that fits with our, with our everyday experience with ordinary objects. If you have a wall and you throw a tennis ball at the wall, it's going to bounce off. And the incoming angle you should understand and you should have experienced things like this approximately equals the reflected angle. Some spin on the ball might change it a little bit, but the general idea is always the case. If you throw a tennis ball straight at the wall, it's going to bounce straight back. And if you throw it at a very shallow angle, it's going to glance off at a very shallow angle. Light rays work the same way. The angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection.